And welcome back into the show, everybody. So good to have you with us. You know, it's a spot where we always keep you the best informed audience in all of radio. Uh, some breaking news overnight out of uh, Lansing. Uh, although uh, the testing for coronavirus uh, was done on this state lawmaker on Friday, that's when he found out that he's positive for CV-19. Uh, he has been a, uh, a critic of, uh, of the governor's policies in reacting to COVID. He's also a man who, uh, who sponsored a bill in April to repeal one of the two state laws that allow the governor to declare emergencies. Uh, he thought that she was going overboard. And uh, now he's, uh, he's tested positive himself. He's the third uh, lawmaker from Michigan to uh, test positive for coronavirus. Uh, the first two were uh, Tyrone Carter, the Democratic state rep from uh, Detroit, and uh, also uh, Karen Whitson of Detroit, uh, who was on our show. She was the one who was basically kicked out of her own party, the Democrat Party, because she had the audacity to go to the White House to attend a session with uh, sort of a... Uh, I don't know, a, a pep talk session with other COVID uh, patients. And then she she openly thanked the president for mentioning hydroxychloroquine publicly because that, she thinks, saved her life. Uh, and for uh, for doing that, for thanking the president, she uh, she was told by fellow Democrats, you don't fit with us anymore. You can't do that. Uh, this is an election year, right? Yeah, okay. So uh, Tom Barrett is with us. He's the Republican from Charlotte. That's the 24th district here in Michigan. He's also chair of the Senate Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. And as we said, he tested positive on Friday. 20-year Army veteran, transitioned to the Army National Guard, and it was a screening process with the National Guard that uh, allowed him to find out that he uh, does indeed have COVID. And so uh, the senator joins us on the other end of our line. Senator Barrett, good morning, and I hope you're feeling well, sir. Good morning, Frank. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I feel pretty good, so thank you, though. Beautiful. What what led you to uh, seek the testing? So um, I, as you mentioned in your intro, I'm part of the uh, Michigan Army National Guard. Uh, it's uh, part of my part-time status, serving the legislature full-time, and continue my army service part-time now and uh i was scheduled to begin my summer training exercise uh this friday coming up and as a part of a uh, uh lead up to that we do a testing one week prior to departure that the uh, michigan national guard implemented um recently i went in for my regular screening like every other uh, soldier in my unit on friday and on sunday afternoon they called to tell me that my tests had been positive so uh, obviously that's going to interrupt a lot of the training that I had scheduled and, and, you know, the schedule for the legislature this week and a bunch of other, uh, um, you know, issues as well. Sure. Well, the, the Senate is scheduled to convene again, what, on Thursday? Committee meetings are Wednesday and Thursday, but uh, Thursday's full session? Yes. Uh, Thursday was scheduled to be a session day. We had some tentative votes scheduled. Obviously, I'll be in uh, isolation, so I won't be able to attend that and I don't know yet if they're going to make an announcement on the, the Senate schedule as to, you know, perhaps delaying things. We'll we'll have to see and, and see what the, the guidance is there. Well, I wonder if we're going to see uh, everybody in the Senate tested as a result of this because one member has tested positive. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And, and I think the window of time, you know, if you go backward, whatever it is, 10 to 14 days or so from when I tested positive, we did have a Senate session day in there. Um, I had committee meetings, several committee meetings last week where I was around other senators. Um, you know, I, I did my best to take precautions, wore my mask when I was out in public, um, you know, distance to the greatest extent possible where, where you know, practical and, and everything else. But I, uh, you know, I wouldn't say that I was paranoid about the, the virus, but I definitely took reasonable precautions like I think most other people do. And unfortunately, you know, somewhere along the way contracted it and then tested positive. Mm -hmm. Have you been displaying any of the symptoms of coronavirus? Um, not really. In fact, um, I, you know, I've had a little bit of maybe some fatigue and, and, uh, and just some mild symptoms like that. But, you know, I kind of chalked that up to just having three kids and serving in the Senate and also being in the Army part time. So I didn't think much about it until my test came back positive uh, on Sunday afternoon. And any idea where you where you might have contracted it? You know, I can't really speculate because obviously it's you know not something that you can really see or or avoid you know visually. 
Um, you know, but I, I do keep a pretty busy schedule. Um, you know, I was just in Detroit, uh, with a colleague of mine doing a district exchange on Monday and then he was in my district on Thursday. So we traveled, um, you know, some areas in his district and his community center, Olier's district in Detroit. And then he was up in my district on Thursday to kind of do this, um, bipartisan team building, um, you know, exercise with each other to kind of explore the different facets of each other's districts and, things like that. And those were both very good visits, but, you know, it took us out to parts of our communities and, and it's very possible that could, could have contributed or it's possible I just got it at the grocery store, you know, picking up some groceries for my family. We have no way of knowing. All right. So no, there is no way to really tell. You know, the other part of this, though, I got to tell you, is uh, you have to be very thankful for your military service at this point, because uh, it, it was due to their testing, to the Army National Guard's requirements for testing, for screening, uh, that this was found. Otherwise, who knows? You may not have known you ever uh, had COVID. And uh, who knows what the outcome may have been had you had you not been tested? Right. Yeah. I mean, I uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh as of this point, um, hopefully my symptoms don't, uh, don't get worse. And, and certainly that's our hope and my uh, prayer at this point. And so far it's been okay, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of, um, something that I'm, I'm thankful was able to be made aware of. Um, you know, I'm going to get my, my wife is going to get screened now. And, and, you know, I've had to reach out to others that I've been in touch with over the last couple of weeks and try and speak to them as well to let them know so that they can try and get tested. But it's one of those things that, um, you know, I may have not known because my, my symptoms have not really been anything to, to significantly report on. Mm-hmm. Uh, another question I'd like to ask you, uh, if I may, and that is uh, the governor's response to, uh, to this. She's issued so many executive orders. We're up over 150 now. And uh, I, I just hope that the, at some point she's going to take the, uh, the blame for spreading the coronavirus because she takes credit for saving everyone's life who did not contract it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got asked by another reporter if this changes my position, uh, you know, of, of being critical of the governor. And, you know, my my contracting of the coronavirus doesn't have anything to do with the governance of our state. We should not have individual control of our state government placed under one person. And, and that's true today. And it was true before I had this positive result. All right. Senator Tom Barrett, all the best in your recovery from COVID. Uh, we wish you well and wish safety for your family. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me on. Great to talk with you again. The Republican from Charlotte, State Senator Tom Barrett here on the Frank Beckman Show.